Hey, nerdlings, we decided to take a little road trip up Uranus. Gross. They're doing things they've never done, hoping that it's lots of fun. Oh, oh, oh they're nerdgins. All right, so... Uh, Did you enjoy your trip to Uranus? Yeah. Um. <laughs> I mean, we'd always driven by it. It's only been open for a couple of years. Whenever we go up to St. Louis, it's literally right off the highway. And it just has this really fun, like, carnival-y sign, you know? Mm -hmm. So I just thought, I always wanted to stop there. And since we really didn't have anything to do today, I was like... Let's just go. It's an hour and 30 minutes away from us, though. So. Yeah, it's, so it's it's kind of nuts that we drove that far for that. Uh, it was fun, though. It's now, kitschy. You, you are pretty sure that it had a previous life, this yes. location did. Yes, it had an Old West town theme to it, and it was kind of an adults-only playground, <laughs> if you catch my drift. So, uh, you know, lots of uh, special books and <laughs> lots movies. Of XCXCX. Uh, but anyway... <laughs> Um, I will say that it, it was kind of a neat little tourist trap, uh, you know, a fun diversion. If yeah. you're on a long road trip, this would definitely be the kind of place to stop for like an hour or so. Stretch your legs. And, uh, stretch your legs and just, you know, get like a little change of scenery. They had a playground there. If you've got small yeah. kids, let them run off some of that energy. I even think you saw a sign there, didn't you, that, that said? That, yeah, touched <laughs> on that perfectly. Yeah. So starting off uh, right there in the general store, now that's kind of the main attraction in that that's where a lot of the kitschy gifts were. Yes. Uh, all the candy and everything uh, that were the showing. The fudge factory. Yeah, the uh, fudge that they were having. Way too much fud with all of the puns. Yeah. Well, it's here, right? Let's do a box. Uh, they wanted uh, to know how do you like your fudge? Are you a are you a fudge packer? Which we were a fudge packer, um, or uh, loose and I think it was loose and sloppy or something like that. Basically, they put it in a bag. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you know they would every time you'd walk in they'd say thanks for picking your anus and you know just the puns everywhere and as for the fudge uh, i went with the rocky road fudge and i went with win. peanut butter it was it was good fudge though i will say that And then uh, we did go ahead and pick up a soda, a Route 66 soda, because this is an attraction on the old Route 66. Yes, it is Route on 66. old Route 66. 
And uh, I went with this because it was lime. I love lime flavored stuff. And honestly, when I first saw this, I thought it was going to be green apple. So I couldn't resist yeah. just because it's actually lime. Yeah. And it's fun to have something from Route 66 because we are the birthplace. Springfield, Missouri is the birthplace of Route 66. So. And to kind of add to that, you yeah. got an ornament. I always, whenever we travel anywhere, I always like to get an ornament of wherever we are. And I have a one dedicated little four-foot Christmas tree that is a travel Christmas tree. And so this one is the Route 66 Missouri, and it's all the towns in Missouri that Route 66 goes through. And so Uranus actually is on there, and then Springfield's up there, so... You know, just thought that was cute. And I picked up a little, just kind of a fun little gift because it was too good to pass out. I yeah, know. <laughs> we need to put ings on there. <laughs> That'd be perfect. <laughs> now, one of the themes of uh, Uranus, obviously, <laughs> is space and aliens. Space and because, aliens. you know, Uranus actually is a planet, not a part of your body. So I told him, I said, I have to, I can't leave without something alien. So I got me a cute little alien guy, and he, uh, He's bendable. So, you know, thought that would be a lot of fun to have. And of course, we, uh, did you make a wish with, with Zoltar? Uh, you were the one that put the That's, money in, so it was oh. your wish. Zoltar the Gypsy, at your service. Ah, uh, today is your lucky day, my friend, for I have a fortune especially for you. Listen closely. Sometimes you can tell a wise person not only by what he says, but also by what he doesn't say. Remember, it is much better to say little than to say too much and regret it later. Give Zoltar your treasure. I have much wisdom to share with you. It's my fortune. So yes, Zoltar speaks. Yep. That was fun. And? And another tradition that we like to do anytime we go anywhere is if they have a smashed penny machine, we always like to pick out a fun smashed penny to do. And so we did one, and it's got the spaceship on it. So it says Uranus, Missouri, Historic Route 66. They also had Fort Uranus, a.k.a. Mission Outpost Outdoor Outfitters. And that is a tongue twister to try to say. But it was really kind of cute. It was an indoor um, climate-controlled shooting range you could rent guns there what we liked about it was the outside um actually looked like an old like 1800s or 1700s fort with the wooden like giant toothpick looking things and there were skeletons hanging off of it and um up in the turret was a general and i'm guessing his wife and then if you went to the near the back of the fort there was darth vader and a stormtrooper now, another neat attraction was actually the Sideshow Museum. Yeah, that was fun. And uh, this was fun because once you entered, you got to see all these banners oh, of yeah. uh, old Sideshow acts and everything. And I'm not 100% sure if they were supposed to be like actual banners from, you know, years ago or if they were just reproductions for the sake of selling. Yeah. But uh, they're really cool because it's got that, that you know, classic... Uh, typical sideshow attraction art style yeah, so this is pretty. the stuff that you would have seen for the circuses for the you know the bizarre shows for the fairs uh, that came to when town. you go to fair yeah and, and you go to like the little uh, haunted houses and yeah. fun houses and stuff it's that art style so it's I love that art style it's always fun and creepy and weird and <laughs> it's, it's just always so unique to look at those yeah. pieces And there was also some neat stuff on the inside of it. There was a lot of like formaldehyde animals that had either two heads or or like one eye when they're supposed to have two or they'd have extra limbs or you know just all those like weird basically freak show type animals that nature had not separated quite as well in the womb. <laughs> the shrunken heads or real life mermaid and it's you know obviously you know the fish with the uh, skeleton sewn together <laughs> and 
<laughs> and they did have a performer there, and uh, mm -hmm. she was a sword swallower as well as an illusionist. Yeah. She did some nice sleight of hand stuff. Our teenager wasn't too impressed with that, no. but uh, it She's was still a though. it was still a lot of fun to check out the the little uh, what was it? Just the sideshow museum. It was great. So something that I thought was kind of neat there was they had like a very small live animal section and there were only two I would consider abnormal to abnormalities because you know like everybody's they had an albino snake everyone's seen albino snakes that's not really all that rare but they had a they did have an actual two-headed turtle and it was really neat because the back of him was one turtle but when it came up to the front it did separate off and it was two distinct turtles so I mean it was it was very neat to actually see that in real life and alive, not just in formaldehyde. And he was kind of swimming around in, in his little tank. So that I, I really liked that. I thought that part was really cool. My other favorite part was Arthur, the bird out front. Him and I, him and I had a connection. <laughs> nice. Can I could talk now. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Do we look better upside down? Now, something that uh, we didn't try while we were there was they did have an escape room, mm -hmm. which was uh, a nice touch because uh -huh. escape rooms are always a lot of fun yeah. and definitely growing in popularity. And it was in the old jail, so that was kind of yes. neat. <laughs> so uh, very clever, very clever use there. Um, another thing that we passed up on was the bar that was there just because uh, we had our little one with us the time of day uh, because they did have food there too and in all honesty we didn't want to drop yeah. in you know just to have some drinks while we had the little one yeah. but it also wasn't meal time so we didn't yeah. want to drop in although I was kind of curious about the wings that they had there. Yes. 
All right, so even though we did not eat a full-blown meal there, we did have to get a snack. So we yes. stopped at the Moonicorn. <laughs> And uh, what did we get there? We got a funnel cake. Oh, just just plain Jane funnel no, cake. No, right? we're not boring like that. We made up our own brand new funnel cake that actually kind of impressed everybody there, and they the owner even had to take a picture of it. But we had a normal funnel cake with powdered sugar on top. But then we had them put bacon and then caramel on top of it. It was because I didn't have any maple syrup. So we we impressed them because we were like because I thought I heard them say. A funnel cake with bacon? So I said, you have a funnel cake with bacon? And they went, no. Wait, no? So they were kind of like, oh, that doesn't sound too bad. We don't <laughs> yet. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, he was actually talking about how he had gone around and told some of the other workers there about our creation and that um, he was going to go buy some maple syrup and, and put it to, you know, maybe make a secret menu or something. Now, we, of course, like a lot of uh, sweet and savory stuff. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the yes. sweet of the funnel cake, the sugar and the caramel, and then the savory of that oh, bacon yeah. was perfect. And we did tell him before we left, hey, if you want to go ahead and call that the Do You Nerd, that's fine by us. We're okay with that. <laughs> All right. And then uh, the last thing there, they had some uh, fun little vehicles and stuff that you could check out, some old fire trucks and things mm -hmm. like that. Uh, some dinosaurs that dinosaurs, you had Dinosaurs, yes. My <laughs> friend Dinosaur. He was fun. And of course, we did get some candy. Some candy! Candy! Wait, wait, are these fancy candies? Oh, these are fancy candies. So you're telling me you're a rich man. Wrapped candies. Wrapped candies. Can you say the same, Albert? Can you give Louise wrapped candies? Ooh, I would totally go out with you over anyone else because you have wrapped candies. All right, well, that is it, Nerdlings. That was our day traveling to and from Uranus. So, uh, if, if you liked the video, please give it a like. And if you have any comments down below about any of the stuff that we picked up, any of the stuff that you saw in the video, and you know what, if you guys have your own Uranus puns, go for it. Drop them down there. Uh, if nothing else, we could pass it on to them there and maybe they could start using them to the visitors that they have. We will also put a link in the description below of the fun commercial that oh Uranus has. It is a lot of fun, but it is definitely full of puns. <laughs> so... You know. So check out that commercial, maybe drop back here and let us know in the comments what you thought of it. <laughs> and uh, be sure to subscribe, we're always doing weird stuff like this. We are. Like, check it out. Uranus! <laughs> Alright, uh, hit that notification bell and... At least it wasn't a tight squeeze. <laughs> anyway, also don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for those closer upper pictures to see where we go out and about in the real world or in the universe. And also to let you know that a video has dropped because sometimes YouTube just doesn't do that. And don't forget to go to T Public because we have merchandise. Look at that nice merchandise. All right, guys, remember if we like it, we nerd it. See you, nerdlings. Hey, your anus, like a butt anus. That's why they kept saying it. But seriously, what did you think of your anus? It was creamy. You're the one who bought fudge. Gross. <laughs> Your fudge was chunky. Mine was creamy. <laughs> hey, nerdlings. So, uh, I don't know if the question... <laughs> I don't even know how to say
So something else that they had there was what they called Fort Uranus, or it was, was it Midwest? Missouri, it was called Missouri Outpost Outfitter something, I don't know. 